Hey guys, Warm Fuzzy Blanket here. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas Hardcore Mode and Very Hard Difficulty. So I'm continuing again with the They Went That Way quest, trying to find out who the hell shot me in the face right at the start of this game. Uh, oh, straight away I've come across some kind of gap in the road here, so I'm going to try and jump down here without getting hurt too much. Yeah, so I've had a quick look at the map here and it says that I have to head over to a place called Nipton. Somewhere I haven't discovered yet, so hopefully we'll be able to find some cool things along the way. Uh, what I would say that I've noticed about this game so far, um, I mean fair enough I've only really just started it, but I'm not really finding a lot of discoverable locations like in Fallout 3. It seemed like everywhere you turned there was um, you know the the railway lines, uh, subways and settlements, little areas uh, old buildings to investigate. So far I haven't really seen too much of that in New Vegas, but I'm hoping to. And it looks like there's a sandstorm at the minute, and there's some enemies here, so giant worker ants. Okay, so these were in Fallout 3 as well. Let's see if I can shoot one in the face. Yeah, without killing me, I'll quick save, and just in case this goes horribly wrong. So yeah, I'm looking to get headshots. Yeah, nice, there's one. And two, nice. Good stuff, yeah, that's not actually too bad. Um, yeah, not too bad at all. Let's see if I can take some of the um, stuff here. Because obviously my character does need to eat, so it's very important that I get as many supplies as possible. And I actually think my character's starting to get pretty hungry now, so I'm going to go ahead and eat some food. If we look at our stats here, we can see, yeah, food's at 185, so we're going to have to eat some food. Let's see what we've got. Um, food minus six, HPO, endurance, okay. Boxing times, interesting. Okay, here we are. Oh, that's quite effective. Gives me a little bit of radiation, but there we are. Let's have a look at stats now. Food's at 120. We'll have to eat something else. What about some cram? That's uh, so at 55. And this, maybe? Dog meat. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much okay now. So we'll quick save. So when when you eat food, it gives you a couple of temporary effects. And here comes the ant farm. It seems. Let's see if we can kill these guys. Giant soldier ant there. Eh? Okay, we're in for a battle here. Yeah, we're in for a battle here. If I ever did see one, there's loads of giant ants actually. So. I, hope, I, I only hope that I've got enough ammo to deal with them all. That's my primary concern. Um, but it's not going too bad actually, to be fair. Nice. Normally I do enjoy using baths. I'm going to quick save here. And action points. But, I mean, if I don't have to, then I might as well not. So let's see, ant meat, strength food 32. Yeah, I might as well pick it all up. And then if I can find some cooking places, like campfires or whatever, I'll try and cook some food. But yeah, um, I feel like the enemies are really slowing me down in a good way. Like, I think it was on my way to Prim where I had to fight all the geckos. That took quite a while, you know, you really get bogged down in some fighting. Although I feel like it's only because of the difficulty that it's actually this hard. Um, but, that being said, I am overusing that, which makes things so much easier. Let's see if I can shoot this guy in the face. I'm going to reload, pull back a little bit. Hmm. Some more of them. I'll quick save. I'll just keep quick saving just in case, like for example, I do die, and then I won't have to refight a hundred of them. But I am running out of ammo now, which is never ideal. So let's see if we can get a shot of them here. Giant ant worker. Okay, next one's coming after me. I'm lucky that they're quite slow. I would say that's probably. The best thing I've got going for me at the minute. Good stuff. There's one down. 
Come on, coming towards me. I need a couple of action points on him. Yes, nearly done. Great stuff. And yeah, this will sustain my character in the long days ahead in the arduous wastelands. But I am really concerned about my amount of bullets. And now that I think about it, I kind of wish I put more in the barter so I can afford more ammunition and stuff. Just quick save it here. Uh, take some more ant meat, good stuff. Okay, there's one up oh, there's one there, giant ant worker. And it's all good experience really. Two that didn't do as much as the as it was promised. Okay. You hit me now. Do I not have a shotgun or something I can use here? Weapons. Sturdy caravan shotgun. Yeah, I do. Why am I not using that? That would have made more sense. Great stuff, great stuff. I like how fast the shotgun is as well. It's definitely a lot more efficient. The damage is crazy. And it's really good condition as well. I noticed that in Fallout 3 it was really difficult to get weapons of good condition unless you had a high repair. But with this it seems to be uh, pretty much okay. So here we go into the wasteland. I wonder if I should put some glasses on or something uh, to protect my eyes. We wanted to do a little bit of role playing, but I think really what I need is... Yeah, actually it gives me some armor protection as well, so that's pretty good. Oh, there's another one. So let's see if we can sneak this guy. Don't think he's seen me yet. Yeah, so I got the crit for the sneak attack, which is always good. And I'll try and finish it off. Oh, yeah, sorry, of course, this is a shotgun, isn't it? I thought I still had the Vermin rifle out. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I think, I feel like shotguns are generally less effective when you are quite um, far away. And they're more effective when you're close up. Whereas the, the rifles uh, tend to be more effective at long range and more accurate. Okay, so there's some enemies here. I'm going to go ahead and save it real quick. Um, here we are. Okay. So they haven't quite seen me yet, so we'll pull out the vehement rifle. And what I'm going to do is I'll use action points. So, jackal gang member. Interesting. Let's see how this goes. Are these actually bad guys? Or? Yeah, they are. They are actually bad guys. Okay. So I'll try and headshot that one. Great stuff, that's a good start that. Okay, the next one, Jackal Gang member again. Headshot. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to kill him with that. Um, so, let's try Sturdy Shotgun. Okay, okay, this is not going well. Aid, try some stim packs. And they killed me. Okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, just quickly, I want to see if I can kill him at close range. It might be a bit easier. Maybe, I don't know. Caution, danger. Oh, okay, so they have seen me now. It's fine. Okay, so that one is a high level kind of there. And one of them has an automatic weapon. I'm not really sure what they have, but it's doing a hell of a lot of damage to me. I doesn't use um, the action points because um, basically my character stops moving, which obviously causes me some problems. So we'll use the super stim pack here. Nice, I get that one quite well actually. Yeah, so I'll kill that one. Oh, and there's a giant ant there as well. Fantastic. Didn't expect that to happen. So let's try a normal stim pack now. Cool, so them two can fight each other. I'm going to quick save. Um, okay, here we go. Jack gang member. A bit closer. There we are. Right, should be able to kill it now. Nice. Good 
stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so we'll quick save because that actually went okay. And a super stim pack is worn off its effects. That that's fine. So these guys they have quite um they have quite long range weaponry to be to be totally fair about it. Let's see what we do here. Jack gang leader, he's really, he's really strong. And Jack Gang member. Try a couple of shots. If I can get it down to just one. Just the leader, then I think that'll be okay. And then I should be able to deal with them, I hope. But at the minute, yeah, I'm really having trouble here. Like, seriously having trouble. Um, oh, jeez. Let's try... Hmm. There's not really anything I can do here, to be honest. Quick save. Right, I'm going to charge them. Save it first of all. Drop a new save here. Okay, uh, let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to use a super stim pack. And then I'm going to use some dynamite, I think. That might work. Confused dynamite, regular dynamite. Okay, here we go. So sneak, and I want to use it on him. Let's see if I can do anything here. I really hope it hits. It has to hit. Nice. Okay, so, and can I use it again? No, I don't want to use it on him. He's nearly dead though, which is great. So the gang leader, 45% chance. I think the ensuing explosion will finish off anyone anyway. So, except the gang leader, but that's okay. So I'm going to swap to the vehement rifle again, and then just see if I can shoot him in the face one last time. Hmm, there we are, right. 31%, what really missed, that's fine. Oh, come on, you got one hit left. How am I missing so much? This is embarrassing. Right. Nice, good stuff. Okay, that was ridiculous. That was insanely crazy, but I liked it. So, uh, we'll take everything that he's got for now. Um, I wouldn't mind using whatever gun he had. We'll loot all these guys. Metal armor, Ooh, nice. Does uh, decrease agility though, and it's quite heavy as well. So I can't actually carry it, which kind of sucks. Gang member, no, not gonna use that. Okay, we're a little bit lost off course here. I'm gonna quick save. And let's see how close we are now to our area that we need to be in. The Mojave Drive In, that, that's a quest that I have. So, uh, let's just see if we can push on into Nipton now. And hopefully, they'll have plenty of resources that I can resupply myself with. Because that fight was crazy. I wonder what um, weapons and stuff I got there. Uh, cowboy Repeater, that must have been what they were using. That's a good gun, Cowboy Repeater. 34 damage, that is really good. I think it's a shotgun, but it must be quite long range. Yeah, that's, that was really good, that gun. I think I'll probably, if I can get the ammo for that, I'll, I think I'll want to use that. They were doing a lot of damage to me at long range. Birds, you don't see them often. Huh. Nice. Okay, yeah, and we're just coming out of the sandstorm as well. That's a nice little touch to the game, I think, the sandstorm. I think that's pretty cool. Any other enemies here? Nope. But there's definitely signs of civilization. It looks like one of my limbs is um, damaged as well. So maybe I can find a doctor or something to fix me up. Um, and I might actually start putting points into barter and medicine as well, because... For survival mode it seems like I'm really going to need it. Kind of wish I'd taken the perk. There was a perk that I could have taken at the start of the game that made eating food and stuff more effective and stuff like that. Kind of wish I'd done that. Here we are, who's this guy? Whoa, what's going on? What's going on? Two seconds, sorry. What's going on here? Well guys, my game just crashed. Um, if that happens again, I'll probably just cut it out, but I just wanted to show you that, because I was like, 
What the hell is going on there? I wasn't expecting that. But here we are. Who won the lottery? I did! Smell that air! Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> this guy's a little bit excitable. Are you feeling alright? Oh wait, what sort of lottery did you win? What lottery? The lottery! That's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters! Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> What's she talking about? Are uh, you feeling alright? Are you kidding me? Never felt better! Yeah! Uh, are you a powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. But not no more. Powder gang is small time, man. I'm a winner! I won the motherfucking lottery! <laughs> what lottery? Uh, I need to get going. Bye. Eh? What was that about? Compass marker updated. Okay. Um, did I just get a new quest there? Or what lottery was he talking about? You just won the lottery. I'm like, what? Okay, good for you. You know. Anyway, let's um, let's just head into Nipton. Hopefully, I can resupply myself here. And it looks like there's been some kind of fight recently. Judging by the fact that everything's on fire. <laughs> and yeah, my character's seriously injured. And there's some more enemies around. Okay, that's not good. Probably just have to save it here. Just be very careful with what we're doing. Because my character is very close to death. And some scorpions around, that's okay. We can handle scorpions, I think. Bark Scorpion. I'm not really sure what the best place to shoot them is, to be honest. Let's try the, the Talon Claw. That's not too bad, actually. Now, these ones are actually quite fast, um, compared to, obviously, the ants and stuff. So, just want to be careful with what I'm doing here. Um, one shot. Ah, uh, yeah. No, it's going to come up to me. Nearly got them. Nice. The rifleman, what? Okay, I think I just... I don't know what that was on the top left hand corner there. Something about rifleman or something, I don't know. Maybe it was like um, an achievement, like you kill so many enemies you get the achievement. I don't know. Nifton House, let's have a look inside. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Um, carton cigarettes. I would pick up some of this stuff, like that has a little bit of value. In Fallout 3, I do normally sell cigarettes, uh, buy cigarettes and then sell them on. But uh, yeah, I don't really have the have the carry weight at the minute, so we just sleep for an hour. I should probably check on my character's stats. Sleeping, yeah, I've just slept, and yeah, all good, all good, nice. Open cabinet, wasteland settler outfit. No, that's fine. Agility and endurance plus one though. Interesting. Uh, so there's nothing really more in this house, I don't think. Um, oh, box of detergent. Might as well have a little bit of a drink while we're here. 18 rads. That really wasn't worth it. I always found it hilarious how you can drink out of a toilet. And it does less rads as well. That's crazy. Okay, that's, that's enough of that. Let's go back to Nipton. And is my objective near? Looks quite close, yeah. Looks like it's just over here. So, this is Nipton. It doesn't look like much of a town so far, but I'm just going to find whatever I'm supposed to be looking for first of all. Then I'll probably investigate Nipton just a little bit. Uh, 164 Nevada. Uh, railway lines. be cool if like an actual train came past here. That would be cool. It's actually taking me out of Nipton now. Not really sure. Thought I heard something there, like enemies or something. I'm not even sure who Nipton's controlled by, to be totally honest. There was one member of the Powder Gangers, but he's not hes not a Powder Ganger anymore anyway, or so he claims, but I don't know how much I trust him since he's an ex-con, you know? Um, yeah, definitely, definitely seem to be involved. Whoa, I'm gonna die. I heard it, I heard it, and I was like, oh no. Okay, that wasn't good, <laughs> not at all. So I am going to use a stim pack. 
and there's an enemy nearby. So one of my limbs is like smashed to pieces. So let's see if we can fix that. Air crippled and crippled. Wow, okay. Stim pack. Oh, doctor's bag. Okay. Doctor's bag. And stim pack on that. Nope. Okay, so in this game, apparently, you can't use stim pack on affected areas. You have to use doctor's bag. No, I didn't know that. But that's fine. That's okay by me. Just adds a little bit more challenge to the game. Stim pack is worn off. Yeah, I think we've got a decent amount of health now. And, uh, oh, okay, Viper Gunslinger. Hmm. Let's just have a look at the map here. Local map. World map. Okay, so now it wants me to go all the way to Novak for some reason. I actually didn't realise that. Um. Oh, yes, I see. It's because Nip there's no one in Nipton. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Right then. Um. Right, okay guys, I think I will leave it there for a day because my character is um, severely wounded, undersupplied, probably hungry, tired and scared. So I think I'll head probably back to um, a safe settlement, restock, resupply. And then I might look at Nipton next time or I might head over to Novak. See ya, we'll see. But just want to thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave any comments if you have any. And I will see you next time. Take care guys.